Babe, your pad thai is ready. I will not go out. This is my room. Do you want more treats? As soon as I enter the bathroom, he would swat at me and attack. At first, I just started leaving the door open a crack, but he felt really bad and really scared. But the real progress started when he was able to come out into the rest of my apartment where he never explored before. Good boy. Okay, Bodega boy. Here's some more yums. That's good. Bodie came into my care in early November 2023. He had been locked in a bodega for a couple of days after he had gone out of business. Little Wanderers, the rescue organization, had posted about needing someone to take a cat. And I decided to step up. Do you feel safe in there? He came to my house later that day. He was incredibly frightened and very, very aggressive. Yeah, he got me a little bit. So he basically lived in my bathroom for a couple of weeks. Mm. But when he thought I wasn't looking, he would come and sneak around the corner and start exploring other parts of the house. And once I found him, he would hiss and spit and then like run back to the bathroom. Wow, you must really not be feeling good if you're sniffing my hand. Then one night, he was playing around with this catnip banana. Is it nice to have a catnip banana, buddy? And it was the first time that I'd seen him feel really comfortable enough to play. And then he started showing me his personality when he was trying to get the other cats to play with him. Still a little testy sometimes, but he's so good. The common understanding of adult cats is that they are the way that they are. They're not supposed to be going from fearful and borderline feral to enjoying human interaction. And yet, here we are. Alexa, turn on kitchen. Siamese are very vocal. They have a lot to say. Sorry about your pad thai. But Merv and I take it to the next step. She tells me she loves me. She screams to Bagagua, but nobody really knows who Bagagua is. I love you. And she seemed to respond, unlike any other pets that I've had before. We're gonna go visit Grandma in Ohio. We found Merv in this abandoned park area, just kind of drinking chemicals. I got a text from my wife saying, hey, there's a little kitty cat. Please bring a blanket and a box. Oh. And of course I did it. And that's how Merv came about. Merv, smile. It's a video. <laughs> the first couple days, I wasn't even really convinced she was a cat. She's sort of just trying to kill me, which happens sometimes with kittens. But then, a couple days later, she started talking. A lot of people are just used to her running around and talking and saying her usual words. Merv, what were you doing last night? <laughs> if she doesn't have anything to say, she'll just keep it in her head. As a self-appointed funny guy, I already like to make funny noises and sing songs and do wild stuff on my own. 
so when she feels like being funny and has ideas and creative thoughts, we get to do it together. I think that's why we're a good match, because her personality is wild and rude and just very sassy. But Merv is always there, just jump on me and purr and chill and keep my blood pressure low. I love you. What's going on in Merv's head is like a Ferris wheel at a carnival, but warp speed. When I feel like destroying the house or making a mess and just getting my stress out, I know the one person that will help me make a mess, and that's Merv. No! She's changed my life in many ways. And she's made me realize that it's better to love than to not.